All right, folks, welcome to another modern stream. We're going to be trying out a couple of uh, different control shells uh, with a couple of different ideas that, that we have going on. So uh, we played blue white already. You can find that uh, list. You're going to have, find that list in that uh, video in YouTube as well. And now we're going to be trying out um, Stoneforge deck. So I think that Stoneforge is kind of in a fine spot right now, particularly when you're able to, to back it up with Force of Negation. The version that we're going to be playing here is banned, so we're not going to lean too much on that interaction. Uh, but we're going to be able to play cards that are, you know, pound for pound a little bit more powerful. And we are featuring the Squirrel itself. I just played against this deck and I mana leaked uh, my opponent's uh, Squirrel. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't... Don't do that uh, because it can be countered. It has so much text. Can be countered, indestructible. Attacks each combat if able. Whenever a creature you control is combat to your player, draw, draw a card. Um, lots of lines of text uh, in this card. But it combos very, very well with cards like Ice Fang Quaddle, Brazen Borrower, Shark Typhoon, and uh, Snapcaster Mage, of course. And you know you can set it up with some Batter Skull or Sword of Feast and Famine shenanigans. So this is a kind of based off of the list that Aspiring Spike has been working on, but this is a different take. I honestly didn't even look at his list. I just wanted to, you know, put a list together and basically draw my own conclusions. That was kind of the point. Um, but we're going to see uh, Spell Snare, Mana Leaks, three Snapcaster Mages. Maybe this is just too many, but I wanted to keep the blue card count uh, rather high because of Force of Negation. There's also the possibility that this deck should just not play Force of Negation and it should just play uh, Spell Quellers and stuff like that. Maybe more to Fairies, uh, play Spell Quellers and whatnot. Uh, but I, usually in my Stoneblade decks, I tend to have the tendency to to uh, play more like a controlish shell as opposed to a creature heavy shell. Um, so you're going to see that I'm playing uh, Jason Mice Sculptor, I'm playing the Fairy Time Raveler, Cryptic Command, so bigger, uh, bigger spells uh, that are overall more powerful. Um, I'm also playing a couple of the new uh, ice, uh, like snow dual lands, so we can have Rimwood Falls and Glacier Floodplain. I'm never going to remember these names, but that's fine. Um, and uh, because they enable Ice Fang Quaddle, obviously, and for some on thin ices in the sideboard. Um, but here's um, here's also the, the rest of the sideboard with Veil of Summer, Simonius Rejection, Purges, Rest in Peace, Gustos, uh, Tunnel Reinforcement, Ashiok, and one of Engineered Explosives. We're going to see how this list uh, works out. You're going to know that we're not playing any uh, sort of Fire and Ice. We're just playing Feast and Famine and Batter Skull. These are, in my opinion, the better equipment. I would like to have some room for, for the, the other sword. But in order to make room for it, we would need to either cut some of the different creatures that we're playing, which by design just makes our swords worse because we, we are going to have less bodies that can carry them, or we would need to cut um, we would need to cut blue cards, which then would make our forces of negation worse. The other possibility would be to cut to cut path to exiles, which is okay. I mean, it, it is possibly something that we could do, but I think that this is where I want to start, and then I want to be looking at the different the different uh, stuff, the different uh, numbers, sorry. Why not play Plant Blade with Kali Garden? That sounds kind of exciting. Kind of have the feedback of the blue one control deck, couldn't see the league. It actually felt very good, uh, Heil. It felt very, very good. Could see going up a land. Christmas came early, Primo. Did it? What do you mean, Anton score? Okay, uh, yeah, turn to Stoneforge. Oh, the bands. Oh, yeah, big time. Big, big time. Big, big time. Depending on what we're playing against, uh, our Stoneforge is going to fetch something different. It's also unclear whether we want a Stoneforge or two. They went in and I, sh I was shocked they cut so many cards in this one. Uh, yeah, big time. Bonnet moves to three. 
So maybe they're playing something like Tron. If they're playing something like Tron, then I'm definitely interested in going for uh, Feast and Famine. Okay, so it's Dredge. Uh, if this is indeed Dredge, it is. Okay, so we're going to go for... Just going to get Glacial Floodplain here. And then I'm going to go for Batterskull. Get basic forest. I'm gonna try to get a batter skull going ASAP. He's squirrel the next reclaimer. Could be. Yes, yes. So uh, skull is gonna start beating down as early as next turn. That's fine, Bloodguts doesn't do anything. <laughs> no dredgers for opponent, big deal. And they can't Cathartic Reunion here, they just don't have enough cards in hand, so that's pretty big as well. I think we're just gonna play the Rhyme would fall tapped, and we're just gonna violate in this battle batter skull, and we're gonna start beating down. Doesn't matter how long the screen background stays up, I still miss having the door. Yeah, the door had like some, what's the word? It it had some some magic to it, you know. Definitely had some magic to it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good top deck, I guess. My opponent can chomp here, I guess. So I guess we're not going to do that. How many bit for you to show us what was in the door along? That's a steep price, Stabs. That's a steep price because, you know, we're destroying the, the enigma. We're killing the mystery. I can just go ahead and show you what was behind the door. The suspense the door created was immense. <laughs> it was a good door. It was a good door. No joke. I mean, with double path, we're just kind of doing it here. Interesting attack from opponent. Blue, green, ice fang. This enough for you to pack it in. Was it a closet? Was it a hallway? Was it a pathway to Narnia? So hard to know. Oh, absolutely impossible to know. That's part of the magic. Absolutely impossible to know. Was it even a door? Maybe it wasn't even a door. Maybe it was just all an illusion. Maybe it was the green screen all along. <laughs> Maybe it was a green screen. Who knows? Um, um, 
Stosky, what I want to be doing? I probably don't want to be deferring. Probably don't want to be purging either. Rest in peace, obviously. Gust. Sounds good. Um, borrower. Borrower's bad. Some pretty advanced holo tech. Yep. Been here a long time. I have seen you open the door. So that's some impressive green card. Green <laughs> green tech. Oh, yeah. It's all an illusion. Uh, this hand doesn't beat Dredge, right? If I had Stoneforge, maybe, but... <clears throat> this hand probably doesn't beat Dredge either, but I'm gonna keep it because I'm a greed monster. I just really want to snare something. Maybe we should we should just be hard mulligan into to uh, rest in peace. Although I guess my opponent is probably going to have some answer to that. Definitely gonna have to dodge here a little bit, but nature's claim. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So they have two. They have two imps in hand. Okay, so we're gonna go for the batter skull line instead. No second land is big. And the only dredger is a loam, which is also big. Take on Stoneforge. Definitely playing World Wake Stoneforge as opposed to Promo Deck Stoneforge. Quick Battle Skull. That's one of the strategies here. Quick Battle Skull. It's either a very quick Battle Skull or. Um, just a quick rest in peace. Those are the two potential ways. I would honestly be surprised if my opponent dredged here. Yeah, no dredge doesn't surprise me. They need to find a second land. Honestly, I'm surprised they they didn't attempt to go find the land. Honestly, I am gonna play flooded strand here because we might snare something. Siege Reno, thank you for the follow. If they can't really dredge. You did seem to like the borderless art Stoneforge. Uh ugh. Well that sucks, I guess. Like I have to do it anyway, but we're gonna get nature slain, like which is bad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Temple Garden in here? I have no Hallowed Fountain in my deck. Did I forget to register a Hallowed Fountain? Yeah, I forgot to register a Hallowed Fountain. Whoops. Big whoops. Actually, is this a free blocker? I think well, it might be good in this deck, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a different way to build it, the, the deck, right? I'm choosing to build my deck this way. I could be choosing to build my deck in a different way. Should probably not attack with the price amalgam. Yeah, it's a bad attack, so. Am I attacking with Stoneforge? I don't think I am. I think I'm actually blocking with Stoneforge. Now do I spell Snare? Because it's a real cost. The two life is a real cost. So I think I'm just not going to... I'm not gonna do it. And I'm gonna hold the snare to, oh, sure. I guess we can just force whatever we would snare because my opponent can't, can't cast, um, my opponent can't really cast the other thing. Gonna take a chump here. I guess I should have played Stoneforge first because I might draw exactly the sword and that would suck. Don't give me the sword. Don't do it, deck. Don't do it. Don't do it. How's the squirrel? I haven't really played with it just too much just yet. and famine, tap land, say go. If they attempt to claim here, we can hard cast force. Haven't really played with it, Publish, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's true, I haven't really played with it. Snark will be less clocking, but The Toski is going to start wearing his ward after this. Green, blue. We're definitely trading with the price amalgam. Just get rid of this for good. It slows, that slows down their clock so much. And they can't really hard cast another Narc Amoeba, and we have a resting piece in place, so we don't have to worry about other nonsense. Force. One, two, three, one, two, two, equip. I 
I think that we're far ahead enough that we can we can do this and hold up force of uh, hardcast force in case my opponent has any tricks up their sleeve. Rewarded. Um, I guess we could just snare this. Seems better. Here's the two. So next turn we attack, we draw three. Yeah, we got the combo going, which is feels great. It's a ballsy attack, if I've ever seen one. So I guess I'm just gonna hard cast the, the merchant. Grudge. I'd rather not, thank you. I'd like to draw three, please. Can I draw three, please? Thank you very much. Some blanks there, huh? Uh, we're still fine, though. Still fine. Opponent discards Stinky. Now we get to Hase. So now their blood cast are not even hasty, so I, there's nothing they can really do. Yeah, I can just bounce that merchant with Jace. I'm gonna attack with their Narcomima. Probably not a great idea. It's funny how I, I literally just forgot to play Hollow Fountain in my deck. Uh, <risa> Qué bonita ardilla si se volvió loca la ardillita. ¿eh? Toski just came down and just went nuts. You gotta love free assets, free ancestrals. Gotta love free ancestrals. Mm -hmm. We got some salmon today for, for lunch. Not half bad. Salmon with uh, sweet potato fries. Not bad. This deck could use a prime time. Yeah, can you imagine batter skull in a prime time? Um, funny that you say that stuff because it's exactly Atlantic Sam. I have no idea what the difference is, but this is actually Atlantic Salmon.
that's what it says in the package at least One does not simply mulligan this this hand. I could have sworn that I put a hollow fountain in my deck, but I guess I just didn't. Very weird. But I'm most to five. Mistress Bubble. Love this list, updating my paper bill now, except I didn't found Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You you definitely want to add a fountain to your deck. <laughs> Brumbar, thank you for the follow. Not a good draw. Not a good draw. What's up, GC? Looking forward to this week's Titan talk. Kind of stopped listening when Modern got boring. Oh, yeah. Huge changes and great changes, too. Um. I'm gonna leak that because my opponent gets to lose life and I don't want them to. What's that, MacFest? I know the squirrel wouldn't be good in infect, but bumping it and drawing cards would be so much fun. <laughs> Can't argue with that. When he gets a shadow. Brutal. Absolutely terrible. I'm getting the top land out of the way because like we can still cast Cryptic with the Mystic Gate, so not too worried about that. I wouldn't move to five, but just flooded, so we're not looking good here. Path please. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Give me a break. Um, there's no way they have a mountain. And I don't care if they cast, if they cast Goyf because I have Spell Snare, so I'm gonna blow up the red source. Still the only guess with two appearances, have to make sure people know who's boss. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. We haven't had guests in a while, actually. I was thinking about getting Will into the into the, the cast at some point. Draw something good here, please. That counts. I guess I main face this though. Because I could draw the fairy, I could draw like a bunch of things. Stoneforge. I mean I I guess I could draw a hierarch too. There's no way my opponent doesn't have removal for this squaddle. Probably push or bolt or something. Yep. Kind of express as happy I'm with the new modern mana base, not evolving only islands. And yeah, exactly. Exactly. Definitely feels amazing. 
Like, feels got... Things got so opened up, it's crazy. Magmatic Channeler. Damn. I can't believe how many, how many lands I drew. I drew two spells. In seven cards. Everything else was a land. I have to jump block here. How is unplayable blue going? Um, we are winning a fair amount. We are the sequencing. Cryptic. <laughs> wow, that was kind of incredible. This is good, these are good. Um... I don't think I'm in the business for one mana. One mana dorks. I'm playing League, should I be able to activate Learn Arbiter with Garenbring Mana? It's a good question. I don't think I have ever... Yeah, I don't think I've ever had that come up. I think I'm playing Stoneforge here. Like, I want to fetch for the White Source anyway, because I have a bunch of removal. And I'm putting my opponent under a ton of pressure here and forcing them to have the removal spell right now. Otherwise, they get schooled. They kind of for how many times runs escaped the van, lost despite clearly being OP. <laughs> Over 9,000. It's over 9,000! Got me. They're probably going to take the Ice Fang here. Where is the unsub button? What? Is this just too much? Is this too much product production value for you? Is that what you're telling me? Is this too much production value for you? Just can't handle it? I haven't I been playing out oh, fair enough um yeah I did I didn't see that sorry stabs um yeah let's trade here with this we have perch 
It's a nice top deck. So now we have double removal spell for whatever my opponent plays. Kind of doesn't matter what it is. We also have a 2 for one We also have a batter skull. I'm not looking bad. We're not looking bad here. And if we manage to suit up the batter skull to the to the ice fang, that'd be kind of sick. For the record, I don't think that. Um, Ah, look at that. We messed with their mana. Got him. Um, I don't think that it's a, it's a particularly great idea to, to put Scourge in this kind of deck. My opinion is a little bit of a fluke. Opponent didn't like what they saw. Respected him. <laughs> always thought those sound bits were edited into your YouTube. I had no idea the production quality of the stream was so high. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is a high, this is a high quality stream. I have boat noises too, yeah. We have this one. I haven't used this one in a while, but this is one of my favorites. <laughs> That's one of my favorites for sure. I guess I, I just snapped off this hand, but it's like it's a little bit sketch if they take my path. Yep. I miss slamming boat. Yeah, me too. Boat was definitely some pretty good times. Boat was most definitely some good times. What is this? Foxies. We're gonna take one of the Jaces. Mana is kinda shit, so. Is there a place for boat in new format? Uh, I just don't think that we want to be carding right now. Which is unfortunate because I love to carn, but... I don't think we're looking at a particularly carnable format. Uh, car a carniferous format. So if they ever tap the land, we just blow it up. You do nothing? I got you. <laughs> it's not a great draw. Uh, the good thing is that we get to put both of these back into our deck. So that's nice. I guess that for... Uh, I guess I don't want to get randomly hit by... Um, Death Shadow to the bottom. Nah. With my opponent being at 17 and having no real way to to hit themselves. Whoops. Well, this backfired. We're still fine. We're still fine. Not worried. But I, I just really want to shuffle these away. You got a shadow. You got two shadows. My shadows. My shadows. Um, I guess it's kind of one too many lands, so... So let's crack here. We fetch for a basic forest. And then this is a plains. 
but I don't want my opponent to be able to continue to lose life. Lock sack. Opponent confirmed lock sack. They throw both of them at Jace. gonna be a K command because that would suck. That would suck a lot. Push. Well can't save Hase, so there he goes. Snare that shit. Not great draws, not great draws. Um, I feel like I want to Ice Fang because I want to draw into it the fairy here. Hammond So, think of the follow. On Thin Ice would also be great. Gust is not great. <clears throat> Bolt. Um, you cast the bolt. Well, good thing that I plussed on the Jace then, if they did have Bolt. Put the Bolt on the Boltom. <laughs> Boltom, see what I did there? I think I'm going to take the damage here, actually, because if... Oh, they don't have, they can't have TBR. Never mind, that was bad. That was bad. Oh, man. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. And they have K command here. Uh... Well, we can't, we couldn't play around any of this, so. Wow. Can't believe the, the amount of hands that we drew. Backbreaking. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate because I would think that that's a good matchup for us, but we just flooded ridiculously both games one and three. What do I think about adding build a deck around boat? <laughs> God damn it. I guess the Drassitron is a boat deck. But yeah. What do I think about adding World Tree to Amulet? It's bad. There's li literally no upside for that. It's an ETB, it's an ETB green source, ETB tap green source. Just bad. I honestly don't know why people keep suggesting that card. Asking them to judge the Narbiter abilities where they not know where that costs do X. So, not activated ability, so not playing with Garvey. Okay, good to know. 
was wondering if Squirrel could be Amulet Cybertech. No, I don't think so. Because I don't know where you would want it. <laughs> Is there an official Spotify YouTube playlist? Not if noticed the tool shirt a few days ago. Um, you mean the stuff that I like? Uh, we talk about music in my Discord. There's a channel. There's there's a music channel in my Discord. So if you go there, there's some stuff in there. We we discuss musica in there. Is this greedy? Yes, but I've been flooding, right? Like I've been flooding, so obviously I'm gonna continue flooding. So I want to hand with all spells so that I can I can be happy about flooding. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy though, like. I'm not happy. I'm not as happy when I play this deck about drawing lands. Kind of weird, right? But yeah, I'm always down to talk music though. So if anybody has any music questions, always happy to to discuss that. Cut a land, add a blade. Easy. Cut lands, add do nothing, three drops. Recipe to success. Recipe to success. Oh, sweet. All right, so... Um, So Abe Carrigan set up a tournament um, starting tomorrow. It's an eight-person tournament, and this is the lineup. Doomwake versus Allen, uh, Zach Allen, Abe versus X-Whale, Jim Davis versus Yama, and then I'm going to be playing Soldek. So uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to have to talk to Soldek, and we're going to have to figure out when we're going to be doing some fighting. Um, that's pretty pog. So I think I, were, I guess we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. I think I have to find my land. We're gonna get spell snared here, but I have to main face this because, yeah. Uh, I have to face main this because if I find the land, I would like to to play it. It really sucks though. Is this gal gonna get mana leaked here? Looks like it. Mm -hmm. Feels bad, man. Banned. Oh, so I guess this is just the mirror, but my opponent's hand just lined up perfectly against mine. Quite unfortunate. Quite, quite unfortunate. Force of negation isn't fair. Everybody knows that. I don't like this at all. Especially in the Stoneforge deck. It seems ugh. kind of ugh, if you know what I'm saying. Oh look, a land. Oh, now you guys show up? God damn it. Oh, that's bad. Um, in fact, how do we beat this? Can we beat this? Can 
we get this? Just playing out Snapcaster as a blocker. We're gonna need it for next turn. This it gives us the freedom to use our mana in a different way. So they feast and famine. Primer is supposed to be secret. Wow. Gross. Public bribes. Snick. See you're embracing the squirrels. Yeah, Andrea, we're, we're squirreling. Just squirrel in a little bit here. Um, hmm. Oh, it's not death touchy, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Mistakes were made. Now it would it would be death touchy. <laughs> Fuck. F's in chat for me. And if my opponent has another mana leak, I'm just gonna pack it in here. Spell queller? No mana leak, okay. Um, yeah, I can't come back from this. Not with my opponent having the battle skull. Uh, brutal. That really sucks. That really sucks. I think we would have been, we would have been fine if we had hit our land drops, but we took way too long to get there. Borrower seems very good. Yeah, I like this setup. I could bring in explosives. It seems it seems rough considering my opponent is going to have the same CMCs that I do.
been excited to play some leagues in the coming days. Final Delver should be playable again. And when you say playable, you mean not the absolute best deck by a million, million years, right? <laughs> I don't think I can even imagine Delver not being playable anymore. I mean, playable as a Delver deck, okay, that's fair, yeah. Instead of actually having infinite card advantage, you mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Not just like, teamer card advantage and broken cards. Uh, I'm slamming this to fairy. I'm slamming it so fast. Force me. You don't have the dispute. All right. Got a nice little two for one there. Not not that upset about that. Yeah, hundred percent slamming there. Can we try veil maybe or something like that? Snubcaster. Okay, I'm just gonna chill then. Probably gonna cycle shark and step. Do we just cycle shark now? Huh, I kind of want to. <clears throat> Sweet. Got a path? Oof. Big game. Let's go. Yeah, it's bad if they to ferry, but like. It's bad if they the ferry anyway. <laughs> I'm in really bad shape if they the ferry anyway, so. Hmm. Interesting how they didn't just let the shark resolve and just minus. They probably break the Jace. Yeah, that's what would make sense, I think. Stoneforge is good. So breeding pool here. It's gonna play a borrower. Just to bother my opponent. Nambu 99 with the tier one sub. Coming back with the second month. Thank you so much, Nambu. I appreciate it. Welcome to the prompt that's run hold. One, two, three. Probably gonna be bouncing the stone forge. If they have leak into Vale, we're fucked, but <clears throat> this is acceptable. That's also quite acceptable. <clears throat> Where are my path to exiles? I do have removal in this deck, right? Don't I have removal? I thought I had removal. Stoneforge is good. I'm bad at this deck, is there a reason for Badass Clues over Hammer or Sword? Uh, it depends on what you're trying to do, basically. So, 
Um, it's completely up to what is in the rest of my opponent's hand. So in the abstract, I can't really give you a good answer. So now we get to sweep things around and put my opponent under pressure. Like here, for example, by getting the sword, I put my opponent under a ton of pressure. Um, and they can't really equip. Like if they had the other sword, they would need to like equip and play this right now. Uh, like, yeah, this is fine. Like they're resolved with Jace, but they're kind of forced to minus the Stoneforge, unless they have a path to exile, I guess. If they have path, they get to path this and they get to do some stuff, but um, we're still in a situation where we can just stop the onslaught thanks to this or thanks to this. And my opponent being able to resolve the Jace here is not that big of a deal for us. Again, what's important is that my opponent has no way to answer baby death. That's the big deal. It's also a big deal that we somehow cannot manage to find <laughs> to find the removal spells. What they could do here is... So they do have the path to exile. Okay. I was going to say what they could do there would be to... Um, violin in the batter skull. There's no way they have... Okay, I was going to say there's no way they have um, Noble Hierarch. I didn't see the in Nobles game one. Put a card on the bottom. So now they're just probably gonna like swing at baby tap or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have eight mana, my opponent has six. Not a bad pickup. I think I'm just throwing both equipments back into the deck. And then we're using this Stone Force to shuffle. And then I think I get the sword again. But now we have Cryptic plus Leak, or we have Snapcaster Leak plus Leak. How did the Claimer list go yesterday? Uh, it went pretty well, actually. Uh, Rock Stucker Stan. It's gonna go live in an hour and a half on YouTube, so you can check out all the bots there. We went four and one, and then we we were three and two, and then we got paired in, against the Valky deck. But yeah, we tried two different versions. The first version was playing was playing uh, just straight wing white and the second version was splashing red. I didn't like the red the red splash too much, but the, the white version was nice. Does that matter? I guess my opponent gets to draw a card from this. Second snap is not half bad. Blue, white. 
we're gonna manually make that. Fast to excel that. One, two, three, one, two, th one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Nice. One, two, three, feast and famine. One, two, whip, plus, I think I just attack them. You see that locks my mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Yeah, seems good. My opponent minuses Jace here, which is definitely a play that they have available to them, which is Fail of Summer. And we're looking, we're looking well here. They do get to brainstorm again, but if all they do is just brainstorm, like we are, <laughs> we got some better stuff going than they do. <clears throat> Draw three, okay. So my opponent feels that they they feel like this is a good line for them. Kind of draw here. We could counter balance the Jays, but then we can't counter the Jays on the way back again, so it's just better. If they play another Teferi, we're just gonna bail off summer in response. Stoneforge is fine. Half my stone forge. You got it. So now we blue white. back on the deck, put that back in the deck, land, equip, four, five, six, I guess I'd rather attack, no, no, I think I have to kill Jace. Oh, I forgot to shuffle. Well, that was stupid. Whoops. <laughs> I had to shuffle before I, I did that. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> we're probably in okay shape, I guess.
Will I shuffle there? Because I, I, I don't know. <laughs> there's no, there's no real reason. It's just I'm probably gonna be veiling if they minus on my Snapcaster. Snare that. They didn't particularly love the Veil of Summers in that game. Is Toski good? Uh, yes. Yes. We have somehow not drawn it a single time, but... Now we drew it once in the first match, I think, and it was just like a free ancestral every turn. Just not that. <sighs> Brutal. Like this hand is kind of nuts, but if I don't hit my land drops, then this everything just goes to shit very, very quickly. So I'm just gonna ship it. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. And if we flood, we're gonna lose, but... Yep. Remember when I said that bit about if we flood, we're gonna lose? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's not a bad draw, though. And it's nice, nice that this snake kind of gives me a little bit of flexibility. My opponent has their own snake. They do have their own snake. <laughs> What's up, Everos? How's it going? They're gonna just jam a baby Tef. They can't just yam a baby tap, right? You can't just yam, right? They are gonna yam. Brutal. Brutal! So, so unlucky. So, so unlucky. This time around, I'm getting Jace because um, it's very unlikely that this... Uh, uh, getting Battle Skull because it's not... Like, it's gonna be tough, right? Hopefully the rest of their hand is just nothing. Just a whole bunch of nothing. If that's the rest of their hand, maybe we have a shot. Just absolute nothing. Ah, oh, fuck, we don't have the Hallowed Fountain. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot about this. Oh, that's so punishing. That is so punishing. Oof. Yeah, I miss... Um, whenever when I register the deck, I, I I just misregister the Hallowed Fountain. Like I didn't put any of my deck, so we got super punished right there. Uh, 
thankfully my opponent's over there just hooking me up. Fairy should be banned? Nah, the fairy should not be banned. I mean, it fucking sucks, but... From there to it should be banned, there's a, there's a stretch. They played their land already. Okay, whoa, 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 hang in there. Don't count me out just yet. You can't have the force. All right, count me out. <laughs> uh, okay, sounds good. Count me out, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's devastating. That's devastating. It's so bad that we literally drew the mana leak off of the Ice Fang <laughs> that we were forced to play because my opponent had the fairy. Uh, devastating. Absolutely devastating. Okay. We can't play around anything, so I'm just gonna go for the line that kills my opponent's chase. I don't think it's gonna work, but I think that if, if I am to win this game, this, which is a bad line, needs to work. Because I cannot beat the Jace otherwise. So if they have literally anything right here, we're fucked. I'm probably bucking it in. What is this? Cryptic? Yeah. Okay. We could have continued playing for a while there, but like we're, we're not gonna win that game. We are not winning. So might as well just move on to the next one. Yep. GG's well played. Mm, I mean, I misplayed when I registered my decks. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know how well played that is, but thank you. <laughs> So both of us, mold to six. I'm getting this first because I can't, um, I, I have to get the other, the, uh, the ETV tapped white source into play. <laughs> so I'm kind of forced into fetching this first. <laughs> Good old punt and adapt, punt and adapt. One was playing some Sultai nonsense. Uh, with them playing Sultai, I think I'm just we just leak here. Like it's not like they can punish me with a with a Teferi, right? So yeah, sweet. Miss land drop. Miss. 
this land drop. Tell me more about it. Sweet. So now we have force, and then we start to live the Tosky life. And it's probably tough for my opponent to answer this, particularly with, the, with them missing land drops. Could I draw a card, please? I love how it even, like, it has to attack, so it just saves you one click. It's pretty good value. Pretty good value. I don't think I'm jamming Tef here into my opponent's mind. Again, like they're not doing anything, so I don't want to run into a remand, you know, and then I, I get to dig a little bit deeper. And it's not like I can play around that remand, so. Scott is fucked up in this matchup. <laughs> Like, this is just messed up. Like, what is my opponent supposed to do here? <laughs> Seems like that's it. Now they also have to counter my Ice Fang, because otherwise I'm drawing two cards a turn. Yeah, things are not looking good for, for my opponent right about now. This draws another card. Tosky, baby. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. Yep, my opponent definitely found the line there. My opponent definitely found the line. I guess I don't really want gusts. What's after this deck, friend? Band of Emirate. No, I'm gonna be playing some blue white blade. Unbeatable. It can't be countered, man. So messed up. So it looks okay. I think I'm gonna keep it. I wish I had maybe one more land. But I have demonstrated my expertise with flooding, so we're gonna find another land. Not too worried. Famous Last Wars, of course. <sighs> we're just cycling the shark if we don't find our land. We're definitely cycling shark if we don't find the land. Weird. You got my either gust. Around the flood gave a oh, wow. Where did that come from? Land. 
So I guess we're cycling shark here almost regardless of what my opponent does. Ha, you can't counter my non-existent shark opponent. Ha 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 ha. Got him. Land? Easy. Hassan? Jamming into potential mana leak and stuff. But I can't punish them. I just don't want to give them the shuffle otherwise, so. And I really need to get a white source, so. Uh, yeah, but I drew two cards since they saw my hand. I drew two cards since they saw my hand. That's really rough. So if they have dispute. I don't think we can play around this beat. Just got a yam. Yeah, not having lands is brutal. Remember what I said that we were going to, <laughs> that we were not going to have trouble finding lands? Yep. I said that. Yep. I totally said that. Totally, most definitely said that. Yeah, I think that they were they were definitely supposed to yam, that's for sure. Us? Why? Why would they plus there? Could have played a snappy there, but I think it's more important for us to draw the card because we, we need to find the land. Boom. Um... <laughs> I guess I could have just passed. Yeah, I, I, I regret it. I regret everything. I could have just passed and just double Snapcaster. Just played two random Snapcaster mages on my end step. On their end step. Yeah, that was that was definitely a mistake. I should have not played the, the Stoneforge. We went four and one. We went four and one. Uh, I don't forget. I don't remember what we lost to. 
Oh, what did we lose to? Anyway, it's gonna be on YouTube tomorrow, so <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. But it felt good. I like the, the blue white list a fair amount. And I'm looking forward to the to the blue white list that we're gonna be playing right after this. Just more straightforwardness seems seems better. Also, not mis misregistering your your lands also helps. Naked snappy. Am I gonna give after rift another chance? I honestly don't know. Maybe. I think I'm pitching cryptic because I'm missing land drops and I'd rather again I, I'm I'm gonna try to leverage Toski to a win here. They remand this Napcaster Mage. Okay. Probably not what they should have remanded. Should have remanded their own remand and then remand the Snapcaster Mage. I guess they just want to leave something here, but like we got to exile, like we didn't, we didn't enforce in vain basically, right? Because we got to exile one of the remands. Shocking mostly because her life title doesn't really matter. So I'd rather, I don't know, represent like a veil or something. Oh, come on, don't have another Ice Fang. It's not looking good. It's not looking good, but I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna slam two Snapcaster Mages and then I'm gonna play Toski and I'm gonna hope that we get there that way. It's not likely. Just our hand was, it, it did not line up well. So I'm assuming they're gonna have cryptic tap. Or cryptic bounce Toski. But then if we if we top deck exactly Veil, maybe we might have a shot if they're trying to get lucky with bounce Toski Veil. Tap and draw. I could have snap forced there. Probably not worth it. Dead of winter. Okay. I think I have to yellow here. And if they if they get there, we lose. So like I'm losing to basically any form of counter magic. But I think the only way that I can win this game is if I get lucky. So 
we're just insanely far behind at this point. Anything beats me, okay. Okay. Try this again. I actually don't like gusts whatsoever. Rather have a path, I guess. Cling to this. Yeah, but it's like if they cling, I have mana leak, right? So that's not a big deal. Ugh. Okay. Nothing I'm counting on two, so I'd rather guarantee that my 1-1 one, one resolves. Not good draw so far. This is really, this really sucks. Really, really sucks. Like I, I got my two for one, I got my two for one here with the fours, but like we even have the fours in hand, but like I just drew three lands over my three draw steps. It's just too much. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate that we are just not drawing anything. Oh, come on. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. Nothing I can do either. Never ending stream of nothing. Scheme of not having difficulties finding land. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate you for looking at the bright side. I appreciate that you're looking, you're looking at the bright side. Because technically I should have played the Snow Covered Forest there because of Remand. What is not doing anything? I guess if I have nothing, but neither has my opponent, maybe we are okay. Play my snake. Okay. <laughs> yeah, flooding is okay if your opponent doesn't do anything. We figured that out today, chat. We figured that out. So we can force... Force. 
We can force veil, snap veil. Okay, so veil doesn't do anything here. Because they remanded their own spell. Put a card on top, I'm probably going to sh be shuffling anyway. Not loving my spot. Not loving my spot at all. Point is down to six, but I we're probably not gonna have enough to finish the job unless we draw something good off the top. This Jace is just too threatening, even though it's shifted to the side instead of being center. I just don't know why. <laughs> It's kind of a visual bug that started happening a while ago. It's it's kind of hilarious. force attempt to uh, this gets owned by Vale but uh, otherwise like my opponent just gets closer to Vale anyway so like we're between a rock and a hard place here all right that's obviously huge that's insanely huge oh wow are we gonna get there Oh my. One, two, three, four. Toss key. Let's fucking go. Jace is scared because all of his friends got banned, yeah. Alright. I guess that better than a Jay's brainstorm is a Toski Ancestral. <laughs> that's, a, that's a way to pull back into the game. That's definitely a way to pull back into the game. Foff. More like Noff. They can dead up winter, but like my stupid snow creatures still get there. <laughs> Just random Toski. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Wow, I did not expect to win that game. Not even close. Did not expect to win that win that at all. I I don't understand what happened. It feels like we drew nothing for so many turns.
And we have a bunch of 4-draws, so it, it kind of feels like we have to play Noble Hierarch. We could try playing Growth Spiral instead. Imagine buying a 3-mana 6 is well laying a 4-mana 1-1 one, one destroy the metagame, yeah. 4-mana 1-1s one, confirmed OP. Turn to Stoneforge, not bad. Spike's list seemed pretty decent. Yeah, I didn't actually check it out. I should be look I should have looked at it before I fired up this fired off this league. 22 lands. Yeah, I don't like that at all. He's not playing snapcasters at whatsoever. No snapcasters is interesting. this thing not gonna let's go to school So interestingly, it's the one that Spikes has put together. 22, I just cannot do 22 lands. I just cannot do 22 lands. That is unreasonably low. I don't know why he always does that. Just builds decks with less than the bare minimum. Less than the bare minimum of lands. Boros Charm. Mm-hmm. All right. It's better school time. See that I'm trying out Toski. Have I heard that it's encounterable? Wait. Wait, what? Toski's encounterable? Say what? <laughs> yeah, I was I was there when it happened, nice man. I was there when it happened. I was there when it happened, god damn it. <laughs> It's stuff for my opponent to come back from this one. Yep. We just had a bunch of stuff that went face. The nothing that... Nothing that stopped the madness. The madness. From a one one unplayable, kind of. So this is already a mold to six, and this has this has no path to winning. 
has an okay path to not losing. This one wins. <laughs> this right here is a hand that wins. I think I'm gonna ship Snapcaster. Because I think it's gonna be important to like Stoneforge into Hold Up Force. The classic one two combo of Stone Force, Stone Force Mystic. No! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Revealed Batter Skull. F scene chat. <laughs> F seen chat for the reveal batter skull. Would be awesome to draw a blue card. It'd be a rather enjoy enjoyable proposition to draw to draw a blue card here. The nice thing here is that if my opponent does answer the Stoneforge Mystic, we get him with the Timely. So it's still kind of okay. Why do you try to make it look like you have force of negation opponent? You don't have you don't have force of negation. You don't have uh, what's his name? Um skull crack. Yeah, this is a blue card. Can't complain about that one. Oh, oh. Opponent. 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 Opponent, why would you do that? Why would you do that, opponent? F to the opponent, yeah, I know. Why would you do that, op opponent? Wow, I should have never won that that game. Should have never won. All right, so this is Spike's list. So he's got three Tefs, so no Jaces. Yeah, so his is a little bit a little bit more low to the ground. So he's playing twenty two lands. He's still playing three Toskies though. He's still jamming three Toskies. So it's not like he's going down on, on four drops. He's not playing cryptics. He's not playing Jaces. So definitely the, the, the four drop count is a lot lower. But in, in its place, we're playing Spell Quellers, which is nice. Definitely love love Spell Queller in a deck like this. Personally, I, ha I have the preference of building my, my Stoneforge decks like, like this, like a little bit more controlling. Um, but definitely understand and I like the approach of going for spell quiller. I think that that kind of card is very good in, in this archetype. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the 22 lands. That seems seems a little bit. I, I would play 23, the bare minimum. Bare minimum amount of lands I would play would be 23. Four leaks, one remand, three force. And we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 16, 20 blue cards. Ish. That's, that's on the low side. That is on the low side. So I figure it's better to get Ancestral every turn with Soski than Brainstorm with Jace. Yeah, that is, that is definitely possible. So, I guess that if I were to take an approach similar to that one...
three islands, one forest, one plains. Yeah, that seems kind of fine to me. So I would go with something like this. No Sharkos. And no Snapcasters. Yeah, once you're cutting the Snappies, then on Thin Ice, I do agree that it becomes a lot better. Whoops. No, that's fine. Um, so we got a, a Toski. Oh, I guess that this he's also jamming the other sword, which I guess makes sense when you're a little bit more, you know, like having 20 creatures is a lot better than what I had going. How's where we're being for you? The card just seems to bad every time I played it. Uh, it was, it's been fine. Um, like the, the, the fact that you can bounce planeswalkers is kind of a big deal. That has been the only reasonable uh, thing that uh, Brazen Borrower has been doing. And then just being a 3-1, it's, it's kind of okay. We could just be playing some um, some V-Click nonsense. I'm super into V-Click right now. So that's that's definitely a possibility. And I, I just love Vendilion Click as a card so much. But yeah, this, this could be the alternative that we're looking at. So th this would be my starting point. And then I would take it from there. <sighs> no, the, the problem with Skyclave is it just completely obliterates your mana. Like white white is, is just such a tall order. White white is such a tall order for a deck like this. So it just puts you in a, in, in, in a bad spot mana wise. Like you wanna fetch your blue and your green early, but now you need to fetch your white early as well because you also need to make sure that you are, <clears throat> that you're gonna be able to cast a Skyclave Operation on turn three or four. So um, like Queller seems a lot better to me. Also Queller combos nicely with the Fairy of course. The only thing that Borrow has over click is that it's kind of a two for one. No, that's not true. Um, borrower affects the board and click doesn't. Click affects the hand. So click is better against combo style decks while borrower is better in a in a in an even matchup. Cause you know if your opponent spends four or five mana to play a Jace or a Deferi and then you bounce it to hand for two mana, that's like a they did get some value, but um, like it's a, it's a pretty solid tempo tempo swing there. You spend two mana to deal with their other hand, uh, their card, and then you get to hopefully answer it back on the way, on the other way, or you answer it back with the three one that you get be that you leave behind. So it's a good card. It's a good card for sure. That's gonna be it for this league though. We're gonna be back with another league, straight up blue white. Uh, we're gonna look. We're gonna see how that one looks like uh, on the other video. But hopefully you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you there. Bye-bye.